there are many ways to make your community a safer place. One way is through citizen science. Residents and community groups collect data to better understand their local environment and address issues of concern. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency collaborates with these citizen scientists to reduce pollution in Tonawanda, New York. The Clean Air Coalition is tracking the quality of Tonawanda's air. Our organization was founded by people who believed that the chronic illness in their neighborhood was linked to the 53 industrial plants in their neighborhood. So in Tonawanda, New York, we have 53 air polluters in within a two mile radius. Um, and so there were strong odors, lots of smoke, but residents didn't know what they were being exposed to. And so the first monitoring that we did in that neighborhood tested for volatile organic compounds to see what was being emitted from factories. So we went out and took a three minute grab sample to see what folks were exposed to. And what it showed is that there were extremely high levels of benzene in the neighborhood, formaldehyde as well, but the benzene levels were just off the charts. And people reacted very strongly to that. Um, some people uh, were shocked, others were angry, um, other people didn't want to see it, you know, were kind of in denial. But the, the community group that formed around this data um, took the data to both the Department of Environmental Conservation and the Environmental Protection Agency and said, we really need you to back up our data. We need you to to, to come in and certify that what we've done is correct um, and we need you to take action. And so as a result of the bucket sampling in Tonawanda, EPA provided funds to the Department of Environmental Conservation to complete a year-long air quality study in the neighborhood. And so four permanent air monitors were actually installed in Tonawanda that measured the air for a year. Um, it was really comprehensive, it was able to count for wind patterns and it tested again for volatile organic compounds. Um, when that study was finished, um, it confirmed what the residents had found in the buckets years before, that the benzene levels were actually 75 times higher than what the New York State Department of Health considers a safe exposure limit. Um, it also showed that there were five other hazardous air pollutants that exceeded um, state and federal guidelines. And so that information um, gave the community um, information with which to advocate um, for enforcement action and for stronger regulations in the neighborhood. The work of the Clean Air Coalition led to a series of enforcement actions by EPA and New York State to bring the Tonawanda Coke facility, a major polluter in the area, into compliance with federal and state regulations. The company ultimately agreed to improve its operations, monitor for leaks, and upgrade pollution controls. These actions are helping to slash benzene emissions from the facility by at least two-thirds. In March 2013, the Tonawanda Coke Company and one of its executives was found guilty of criminal charges for polluting the air and the ground at the facility. What began as a community effort to assess air quality in Tonawanda has resulted in reduced air pollution and an important EPA legal victory over a polluting company.